Just a little boy, about six years old, I followed after this man wherever he would go. On the weekends, he'd take me to the garage. It wasn't very far, and I'd watch for hours at a time him build his first race car. Then came that happy day, and the crew rolled her out. They knew this car was special and would long be talked about. As for me, I noticed the colors and the shining white and blue, and on the sides of both the doors, that famous 22. Now through the next few years or so, experience he gained. He won his share of races and acquired his nickname. Fireball, they called him. People knew him near and far. Racetracks all over the world had heard about that car. Fireball, Fireball, the greatest racing driver of them all. Oh, I watched his rise to fame. In the record books you'll find Fireball's name. Then come a telegram one day, and a smile come across his face. He had been invited to the big 500 race. The problem was to qualify, and that he had done with ease. He won the pole position and should win the race with ease. As the race got started, Fireball, he pushed it down to the floor. They headed for the first turn, I guess 30 cars or more. As they thinned out on the back stretch, Fireball set a blistering pace. He broke the track record on the first 20 laps of the race. Then something dreadful happened. A driver broke under the strain, and Fireball swirled and hit the wall, and his car burst into flames. Well, I've practiced hard now for the last few years. In the 500, I just won. And I won it for a real brave man. That racing son of a gun. Fireball, fireball. The greatest racing driver of them all. Oh, I watched his rise to fame. In the record books you'll find Fireball's name. 